Taking action. Concerned people coming together in a town hall meeting tonight organized because of young Dolph's murder. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The specially called meeting designed to cut down on violence in Memphis. Our WREG's Andrew Ellison is live downtown. And Andrew, what did participants have to say? And many people in tonight's meeting feel you have to stop violence at the source by investing in poor neighborhoods and mentoring the young, impressionable men in those neighborhoods. Galvanized by Young Dolph's murder. I'm sad about what happened to Young Dolph. More than 100 people coming together in a virtual town hall meeting designed to cut down on violence in Memphis, the meeting hosted by the NAACP. We are dealing with two, three generational problems. And many feel it has to be addressed at the source by investing in poor neighborhoods. Prevention is intervention. Tamika Greer runs Memphis Artists for Change, an organization that provides resources for impoverished families. Like we have to do the real hard work. Helping incarcerated men become positive members of society when they get out of prison. Let's talk about what happened. What happened to you in the visit? If we don't, if we don't get to the heart of that, then we're kind of just spinning our wheels in the same old norms that we've been doing. Anthony Sledge believes young men in these communities need strong role models who've turned their lives around after going down the wrong path. Find people who have, who've been in in the ditches, who've been uh, in situations like the man who was incarcerated, who've been in situations that can talk to these people and talk to our, our, our young people in the community. See, if you've never been hungry, you can't tell them about it about being home. Shelby County Commissioner Van Turner says he's working on ways to put more tax dollars into disadvantaged areas. You're not going to stop the violence without addressing poverty. We're not going to stop the violence without addressing mental health, which is a part of poverty. And we're not going to address violence without addressing, you know, food deserts. Yeah, tonight's meeting, the first in a series of meetings, and we'll let you know when more are scheduled. Live downtown, Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3.